The former Detroit City Councilwoman locked up in a bribery scandal is free. Monica Conyers has been working her way back into Detroit for the last four months. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner tells us that today her freedom became final. She knew you guys were going to be here. <laughs> From councilwoman with a law degree to bump shop used car dealer clerk, Monica Conyers took today off from her job in Corktown, but owner Sam Hussein says she will continue working here. He says he deliberately has not asked her about her federal conviction for taking a bribe, changing her vote on the city council on a controversial $1.2 billion sludge hauling contract. She's trying to put the past behind her and move forward. There really isn't that much to say. You know, I would just wish Monica Conyers well. We caught up with Sam Riddle, reading about his former boss in the paper. He was Conyers' City Hall Chief of Staff. It was a co-defendant who also did federal prison time. Monica Conyers had enormous street swag in Detroit terms, and I believe that she has learned a lot. I believe that she probably is remorseful. Monica Conyers made her four years on the Detroit City Council memorable, perhaps the most. This exchange with Council Member Ken Cockrell Jr. Oh, Control your house and you know how to treat Better other women better. You're the last one to talk. I'm about the that. first one to Council talk member. to you, Shrek. Shrek. You're out of Shrek. Order. We notice this picture where Monica Conyers works. Her husband, Congressman John Conyers, on display. We support him. We support his uh, his campaign. And Who's that like picture it. with? Uh, that's actually my brother. Nobody answered the door at the Conyers house. They may be celebrating her freedom and John Conyers' 84th birthday today. In Northwest Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Conyers still has to report to a federal parole officer for the next two years.